Hello! You don't need to yell. Hey, hi everybody! It's Elena Donna, hello! And it is the last video of 2018 and I don't know about you but I'm super excited that this year is over. It's been a binge. So today it's time for the December wrap up and I read a total of 12 books aka I mostly listened to it because I was driving. I'm an adult can't read and drive at the same time I don't know what you so I was listening to a lot of books yes my hair looks funny because hello it is drying air drying so yeah you have to deal with this hair hairdo okay okay anyway so yeah let me share with you the audiobooks that I listened to basically I think I read two physical copies and that's it and I will show you my January TBR. I'm gonna do that in one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please feel free to do so. And don't forget to like this video if you actually like it. And the bell button, click, click, click. So you will know when I upload a video. So I don't know about you with the fireworks and all, but yeah, it looks really pretty, but I hate the bomb sounds that are so hard. I'm like, and my cat is also like that, so I'm sorry cat, I'm not giving you the best energy today. He is hiding, my other cat is with my neighbor. I'm gonna celebrate New Year with my parents and my sister, so I don't know what you're gonna do. I hope you're gonna have an amazing time, but let's get on to the books. So the first three books, really? That was my little sister. She was like, where the fuck are you? We're eating. I'm like, oh, I'm still filming. The first three books that I read are by Harper Lynn and it's the Granny... I don't know what series it's called, but it's... It is Granny's Got a Gun, Granny on the Cover, and Granny Strikes Back. And it is a super sarcastic granny who is retired. She used to be a CN... CSI agent and she is so awesome. She moved to this town where her son lives and her grandson so she can be with her family. Her husband had died, he was also a CSI agent. It, CIA, CIA agent, CSI, I watch too much tele. So she thinks everything is going to be peaceful and quiet and she can just enjoy her retirement and she got a cat and then murders start to happen around her town and she's going to find out who it is and I absolutely enjoyed it. I laughed out loud while I was driving so that was a really easy listen to because I feel really weird when I say read because I didn't read a word. The next book that I read is Guru by RuPaul. Uh, read, listen to. He is my all-time inspiration. He's my number one. I've learned so much from RuPaul and every new book that he has, I need to have it, I need to listen to it, I need to read it. And I listened to this one and it was just some really good reminders about having some confidence, being sassy, but at the same time spread a lot of love, love yourself, taking care of yourself and people around you. And I just, I just absolutely love him. I love you, RuPaul. Then the next book that I listened to well done. It's Lily and Dad's Book of Dares. Some booktubers recommended this as a really good read for the holidays. And I don't know who it's by. I didn't write that down, I'm sorry. But I will leave it a picture of it in the screen here. But it was really cute at the beginning. And in I think towards the end, I was like, oh, this is getting a bit bored. But eventually, I enjoyed the story. I didn't love it. I'm also not going to listen to the next book after this one. But I like the idea, idea that they had. It was two people and there's this one notebook and they're gonna write and give each other theirs and they're gonna exchange the notebook through friends and to places and it's really cute and really fun but it was to me not amazing. Then I read Presents by Amy Cuddy and it is a book that I read on my phone, really weird because my phone is broken so it was really hard to read it, but it is about how to be more present, how to have more confidence, stop with the firework, and talk confidently, and it was just, again, a really good reminder of the things that I already know, but I just needed a refreshment. She also showed studies, she also showed what people around the world thought about this kind of topic and this word and what it meant for people and that was to me really refreshing and really good to read but not like again whoa life-changing but just a really good refreshing reminder 
Then I read Notebook that was also in my reading vlog. I enjoyed that story even though nothing really happened. I thought it was beautiful. It also made me cry because I thought, oh my god, it was so lovely dovey and it was so cute that I absolutely enjoyed it. Then I listened to Blame It On Bianca by Bianca Del Rio, also one of my favorite drag queens out there. And I think he is hilarious. And people send it out all kinds of questions and he would give you advice. Well, it was not the best advice, but I laughed out loud while I was roaming around my room. I seriously love, love, love this man. And I hope that I can one day finally go to a show because every time he's here in Holland, it is sold out. Then I listened to The Poet X by Elizabeth Espedo. If that's how you say it, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But that book, everything was like spoken word. It sounded so, so beautiful. And her story, oh my god, it made me cry towards the end because I was like, oh my god, this is just about a young woman finding her voice and the family dynamics were very difficult, but I really liked it because it was so well done and so beautifully written. It was like it was a poem every single page. And I think that's amazing when you can write in that way. I really recommend to go and listen or read that book. I think it is amazingly done. I really, really enjoyed it. Then I listened to Dinosaurs Before Dark because I needed to listen to something quick and funny because I wanted to write. <laughs> Gave my reading goal. I guess I have it for 50 books, but it was just a really quick kid story. It was a story about a dinosaur and he, and two little kids and they they went to this tree house and then they went into this world with dinosaurs and I just absolutely enjoyed it even though it was not that long but it was still like a child's book so I was like why not and I absolutely enjoyed myself. Dinosaurs Before Dark was written by Mary Pope Osborne and I just Again, I really enjoyed it and I can't wait if I hopefully will have kids in the future to read these stories to the kids. And the next book is also a child book and it is George by Alec Gino. It is a story about a young boy who is transgender and really wants to be and feels and basically is a girl. The author already addressed George as a girl and I love that Part. I think it was amazingly done that the author already addressed George as a she, a her, it's a girl, but it's still in a body of a boy. I thought it was amazingly done. There were times where I cried while listening to it and I can't wait for this to be translated in Dutch so I can buy the book and then hopefully read it to my future children. I think it's so important to create these stories for kids because you're gonna make your kids more open-minded are open-minded and for kids who are going through this process to know that they're not alone and that there are stories out there that they can relate to. I think that's so freaking important. Muy importante. Yes. Oh, si. Sí. <laughs> and then the last book that I read was The Vegetarian by Han Kong and I just read this today in one sitting. I haven't done that in a really long time just to read and sit and just read my ass off and I just had like the ASMR room, not the room on, but there's another channel and they have like this tea room and I just felt really cozy while reading this depressing masterpiece. It's a story about a young female who is experiencing mental health issues and you see different kind of perspective on her life, about marriage, about in-laws, about Korean traditions and how they view the world. I just, I already said it in my book haul. I think it was my book haul that I wanted to read more books by different others. And I already had this book, I think since the beginning of this year. And I got so angry at the beginning because the blue ones are like when I get pissed off by characters. And I just really wanted to jump in the book and talk to the husband. I was like, what are you trying to do? You and I need to have a conversation right now sit down i just i was so furious at the beginning of this book and trigger warning there's rape involved so if you can't handle those kind of stories then please don't read this book but it won an amazing prize and it is amazingly written and what i thought was the most beautiful part was when the woman spoke but she spoke only of her dreams was that it was written so 
beautifully. Then on to the books that I want to read in January. So the first book is The Sabbath Song by P.E. Swap. She's one of my favorite authors. I have this book for a very long time on my shelves so I picked just a few books up that I really want to read. This is a story about Kate Harker and August Flynn and they are the hires to a divided city and all that Kate wants is to be ruthless as her father and August just wants to be human, as good-hearted as his own father. So we're, I think we're gonna be taken on a journey and see them battling their demons inside and gain whatever they want to gain. Um, I absolutely love V.E. Swap even though I haven't read Fishes yet and it's so hard to get because every time I want to order it it's like it's gonna be here in like three weeks and I'm like no I don't want it to be here in three weeks I want to have it now so I'm constantly postponing it but I have it on script so I think I will read it there but until that day, the Sabbath song by P.E. Swap. The next book that I need to finish is of course Stalker by Lars Kepler. I am at page 243, so I still need to finish it and I, it has 570 pages, so <laughs> I still have to go through a lot. But so far I'm enjoying the story, I'm enjoying the characters and that little dark secret and all the details like I talked about. The next book that I want to pick up is Becoming by Michelle Obama. We all know what this is about. I really want to pick it up and as quickly as possible since it's like a bestseller um, at the store where I'm gonna work. So I want to be able to share with everyone why they should buy it. And I think I will absolutely love it because hello. It is Michelle Obama, come on. Then I want to read Girls of Paper and Fire. You saw it in my book haul and it's by Natasha Nyong. And I just really want to read it before the hype is over and I still haven't read it. I really want to read this quickly. So January, leg on. And then last but not least, I have a wrap packages because the books that are pretty older, pretty older. The books that are older on my shelf are books that I wrapped up. So let's unwrap it. <laughs> I'm cracking up because this is so what I need since I'm going to be an assistant and I'm a pretty nice girl. This is Nice Girls Still Don't Get the Corner of Us by Louis P. Frankel, PhD. I really wanted to read this book and I never really picked it up but uh, I was a CEO, then I was a floor manager, and now I'm an assistant manager, and yet I still experience that there are moments where I'm still too nice, and I'm like, oh, so when I'm like being really gentle with people, they think it's like a fucking play playground. So in this book, she will share with you how you can still be yourself, but be more firm and, you know, be more the boss that you're supposed to be. So... I can't wait to dive into this and read it. I think there are also some things you need to do, so this will be a really fun read and hopefully I'm gonna learn a lot of things from it. So this was my December wrap up, mostly audiobooks and my January TBR. I hope you have an amazing transition into the new year. I wish you all the best. I wish you all a happy new year. And I wish myself a happy new year. Fuck 2018, we learned a lot. I know for a lot of people it was a shitty year, but so full of a lot of life lessons that we needed. So let's get on with it 2019 i'm ready i don't know about you but <laughs> thank you all so much for watching if you love this video then please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching so see you in the next Check it out.